Gentlemen, good afternoon. We are live and we are today in this ep episode, we are delighted, we are honored to have among us one of the very distinguished personality of Asian golf industry, uh, sports of golf. He, is, he was a legendary professional golfer himself and also former executive chairman of Asian Tour. First, the, the screen we are seeing is our Golf Bangladesh dot com website so i just wanted to sh uh, let you know that we are live in four channels so this is first and we are now i can see i think uh, we can see our today's guest mr chilahan welcome sir oh thank you thank you uh, it's a pleasure to be okay. here okay sir as i was saying that we are live in four channel in youtube in facebook in linkedin and also in website of golfbangladesh.com Beside that, we are also live in Twitter. So, in fact, in total uh, five platform, we are live now. So, it was uh, it is really a pleasure to have you among us with us. You had a wonderful professional career for a long time, sir. I have seen your record. You own Asian tour, one Asian tour in the initial days, named Volvo China Open, and then you own more fourteen Asian circuit tournaments like. Singapore Open, Malaysian PGA, Thailand PGA, Hong Kong PGA, even before that Asian tour was formed. So I want yes. to know about, first know about your career itself, your journey to professional career, sir. Well, I, I turned professional in the, the World Cup of Golf in 1980 when I was 19 years old in Bogota, Colombia, and, and then started playing the tour back in 1981. So, you know, those, those were the early days uh, before the main Asian tour was was uh, created. Uh, that time it was called the Asian Circuit and it was consisted about uh, 10, 11 national opens all around Asia that we used to play there. And then, then I ventured off out to Australia and played the Australian tour, then went to Europe and played the European tour a bit in, in, in the 80s. So that was, you know, that was a long time ago. And, and then, you know, um, yeah, we've had a lot of tournaments around uh, Southeast Asia, like Malaysia, Thailand, Singapore, you know, Philippines and all that. So I was playing all, all these all these events. And then in the 90s, 1995, the Asian PGA was created and I was one of the founding members. Then, then you know, it was, it was uh, basically to build up a professional tour where a lot of players can play year round. Because in the 80s, when I was playing, there was 10 tournaments that was only between like February and until April. So, you know, uh, it, it, was, it was it was really nice. And uh, we see a lot of the, you know, the, the young players in those days that are now established players now uh, are, are, are from uh, uh, way back then in, in the 90s. So, you know, for me, it was a pleasure being play, being a player, but also like, a, you know, administrator and representing the players to have more opportunities to play professional golf tournaments. Uh, okay, sir, I'll come back. Uh, so uh, it makes me uh, understand that you had been a long time one of the most successful professional golfer in Asia. You played with Tiger Wood, world number one, a uh, number of times. And then I found you, uh, you turned to be, you turned to the chairman of player committee, first player committee of Asian Tour. And then you became commissioner. And then you became ex executive chairman of Asian Tour. Now, sir, can you share uh, when this Asian tour now we we hear about and we are dealing with about Asian tour is the now uh, highest professional tour of Asia. So, when it all started and how you were involved? Well, I was involved in the very beginning. You know, I was a professional player touring uh, all over the world in the '80s and the early '90s. Then, in 1995, uh, you know, uh, I was. Um, approach to create a full-fledged uh, professional golf tour called the Asian PGA and that was 1995 and then then uh, we had over like 20 tournaments a year so that that was that was fantastic and I was still a player then you know I, I've won a few tournaments uh, you know in 1999 I won the Volvo China Open and the Asian Order of Merit that year and then then in 2003 we we uh, the players got together and, and created the Asian tour, which was off the Asian PGA and, and took it into our own hands. And then I I retired like in 2006 and then became the uh, as retired as a player. Then 
uh, became an executive chairman like in 2007. And then, uh, you know, it was just to create more playing opportunities for players. And, you know, I wanted to see all the young players become world-class players. So we got accepted into the International Federation of PGA Tours, which, which consists of the, you know, the PGA Tour in, 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 a, in the U.S., the European Tour, the, the Japan Tour, the Australian Tour, the South African Tour, and the and the the Asian tour, so that was a big step because it it uh, our players got world ranking points, and you know they they were able to compete on on, on a world stage. So, you know it, it was it was really a, a pleasure to be involved as a player on the tours and a, as an administrator. So, you know I think I think uh, you know it 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 helps create uh, uh, world champions out, out of the uh, Asian tour players. So thank you. I'll come back. Uh, so I know you were a long time also administrator, and I we also worked personally. I also worked with you once you were commission of Asian Tour. Uh, so just to uh, know from you, I, what I understood, Asian Tour was then formed in '99. Uh, once you started, uh, you, still you had been playing. Uh, so when exactly? Uh, 1995. 95. Yeah, so it was uh, formed in 1995. It was called the Asian PGA Tour before, before. that. And then yeah. in 2003, it changed to the uh, Asian tour. Asian. Okay. What we so see uh, today. Okay, the name took, uh, this name was taken uh, in 2003. Yeah, I got your point, sir. But it started as PGA, like other PGA in uh, 1995. Uh, I got it correctly. Yes. I got it correctly. Yeah. Okay, sir. Sir, I also saw your sister, Ms. Toei, also is very much involved, was involved in Asian tour uh, as administrator, as associate director. So she also was involved with Asian Development Road being, coming here in Bangladesh in 2010, uh, Grameen for Bangladesh Masters. And you also were there yeah. as commissioner. And after that, in yeah. 2015, uh, that time, Bigger Selim was contacting with you, coordinating with you and your Miss Toy. And in 2015, yes. once you were commissioner, uh, director, Mr. Pakistan, his Mr. Irfan. Irfan and Shariz yeah. was uh, dealing with us under you. And myself and uh, Brigadier General Fajol was involved in yes, signing that Asian right. Tour deal. So, yeah. can you tell us uh, the history of Asian Tour coming to Bangladesh? As I know, you also know this country. You know this. Uh, you also visited once. So, tell us that. Well, I, uh, yeah, go ahead, sir. No, no, no it's, a, it's my pleasure. I mean, uh, for me, uh, what I what I was tour, it was basically to look for. You know tournaments and playing opportunities. You know, uh, yeah, Tway, who, who was the event de uh, development director, and you know she she got in contact with you you all in in Bangladesh and said that Bangladesh was interested in a golf tournament there. So you know we we were very excited, so it, it, it was great. And you know, for me, it, it was a pleasure to have the tournaments in Bangladesh. Not only it, it created playing opportunities for all our Asian tour members, but also you brought about a, you know, a tournament with Siddiqui Rahman. You know, and it was it was great to see him successful on the Asian tour and to represent Bangladesh in the Olympics. And you know that that as Asian tour, that was our goal uh, to create local players, local champions, and all that. And I think Bangladesh is one of the success stories uh, of the Asian tour. So it's great to see that you know. Uh, good, good uh, top players have come out of Bangladesh to be successful playing all over Asia. That that is our our goal. Besides, you know, trying to have more and more tournaments. He was uh, looking at your records, and uh, I'll come back to your uh, personal record and all. So here is some comments from long. I mean, lot of audience. They're uh, writing comments uh, on today's show. Uh, some of the comments I would like to read, especially Mr. Sanjay Marak, he's telling uh, Mr. Chilahan, are you a singer? Uh, do you have a brand? Maybe yes, in your record in internet. How many times you played with Tiger Woods? Another guy, uh, Mr. Rafael said, hello, sir. How are you? Uh, how many times you visit Bangladesh? Uh, uh, Mr. Rafael uh, Sangma, Sang, uh, S. Fung, Sagma, he wants to know who all you know from Bangladesh. Mr. Santo Islam, Mr. Jagamundu Rai, Mr. San, lot of lot of audience. I cannot read all, but just I can uh, ask to you, sir. How many times you visited Bangladesh? How many times you played with Tiger Road? And uh, do you are you a singer? These three, sir. 
Pardon? <laughs> yeah, no, um, no, you know, I visited uh, Bangladesh to to come for the initial tournament uh, for for the Bangladesh Open and all that. And in, and in it, 2010, it was actually, Miss Tway was making most of the trips uh, and all in the tell, hey, so You there. visited then. You visited in Asian Development Tour, Gamin Fund Bangladesh Open in 2010, sir. If I if I am correct. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 right. Yeah, so so okay. you know, it, it was a. Uh, it, it was really good good to see the the tournaments happening and of course miss tway who was the, our event development uh, director and also uh, mr irfan and to assist her and all that they were making a lot of the trips to 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 uh, to dhaka and then you know i i just came uh, during the tournament week so but to to meet um all, all, all the officials and all that so you know it was it, it was a pleasure and you know we we thank bangladesh golf for uh, giving the asian tour a, a boost and it was great to see, you know, uh, 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 and you know, so at times your audio is getting off. Your audio is distracted, sir. Can you hear me? Or you know, to yeah, I can hear very well. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. So. so yeah, so it was, uh, you know, it was really not only about the tournament, but it was to develop players and to see Siddiq or Rahman, you know, uh, win tournaments. And also he he earned it to to play his way into the Olympics in 2016 at Rio. You know, it was it was all on merit. So, you know, that that was the, our goal of the Asian Tour is to to create the opportunities and to create local players in each each country to to become national uh, world world class players. And you know. I think Bangladesh should be proud of proud of City Core. Okay, sir. Sir, and, uh, uh, some, yeah, yeah. Some other question. Oh, where is, uh, yeah, yeah. You are a singer. Oh, not really. <laughs> no, it was just uh, after I kind of like stopped uh, with uh, with with the Asian tour. You know, it was it's just a pastime and all that. And so you know, it's it's something I enjoy. But you know, we. Um, you know, it's just a, it's just a hobby. <laughs> and so, so you are the, based uh, in uh, Malaysia, uh, uh, Singapore, or in Myanmar now? Sir? I'm, I'm I'm living in Singapore now. Yes. Uh, so basically, you are enjoying your this uh, co-curricular activity in uh, Singapore, sir. Ah uh, yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I live in Singapore now. I'm I'm still at, at present. I'm still on the board of the Asian Tour, and you know, I still. I still attend the, the board meetings, and you know we. It, it, I think in all our, our hearts, we're always there to to help with the development of of the players and uh, mm -hmm. in Asia. Sir, so, right, sir. So, before I go to my next question, uh, I am seeing a lot of uh, opinion, rather remarks, or comments from audience. Uh, so, uh, one point I took a take from audience that is. Uh, e Asian Tour is a private tour. Somebody has written it's a private company. How it is being run? How it is being run? Number one. Number two. We ha we see another tour. It's called One Asia. What is the difference between these tours, sir? Two tours. Well, first of all, Asia Tour is a player organization. We have structured itself. You know, when I founded it in 2003, we try to structure it itself in the same lines of the PGA Tour in the U.S., the European Tour, you know, the Japan Tour, Australia, you know, South African Tours. We structure along the same line where it is actually owned by the players and it's made for the players. So it's a nonprofit organization. So, you know, the, the main thing is to look after the affairs of uh, the member who are the players. So, and, you know, that's, that's what we uh, always try to do. It was to make sure that the the players are looked after, and, and you know, that's uh, it's on along the same lines how the PGA Tour, European Tour, the other two big tours are are structured. So we're we're not doing anything different, and and that's uh, how how we would like to achieve the goals of, uh, for the benefit of the players. I mean, the that other tour, that, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. There was a moment when uh, 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 another tour was formed called the One Asia Tour, and you know that was between um you know uh china golf and 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 australian uh, golf tours but uh, we you know they, it was uh they weren't really exactly you know structured like a, a membership players tour so 
I think, you know, the, the, in the end, the players did not endorse it. You know, uh, the players more supported the Asian tour and all that. And right now it's uh, ceased to exist. So, you know, I mean, we, we just, we just try to concentrate on, on doing our jobs and all that. And it's in the end, it's up to the players to, to decide which tour they want to play. Yes, I know personally, Asian tour, this uh, that you're talking about, we are talking about is the number one highest, uh, I mean, ranked uh, tournament in Asia and also most favored, most preferred uh, by the players, professional players, and also countries like us. So, Asian tour is the tour that we consider uh, the highest professional tour in Asia. Thank you, sir, for that point. So, uh, sir, again, I found your career that you are also now, after retiring from Asian tour, yourself, you are involved in Junior Asian Tour, Junior Golf Tour of Asia, JGTA. And it, also, I was informed by some Rus official of Asian Tour, Mr. Adnan and Toe and all. Uh, so, uh, can you tell us something about that organization? What year, uh, why did you form and how can we be part of that Junior Asian Tour? come to Bangladesh and, and have a Junior Golf Tour of Asia uh, event. I mean, what I structured was uh, along the same things that it was supposed to create a pathway for future champions in, in from, from Asia. So basically, you know, a couple of uh, American players that approached me that they wanted to start a tour for, you know, there is the American Junior Golf Association in the United States, which which is a junior tour that that helps players get into college in, in, the, in the U.S., the colleges on golf scholarships in the U.S. And I, I feel that, you know, the best players uh, in the world right now uh, came out of that American Junior Golf Association tour, uh, the AJGA, and they came out of college golf in the U.S. So I just felt that for the future development of our junior players in Asia is to go to college in the U.S. So the, the AJGA had endorsed our tour and given us official ranking points, which a lot of the golf coaches in the in, in the U.S. Uh, look at and, and, and recruit them to to play on their colleges. And, you know, college golf in the U.S. is the best training ground for, for young professional players. And I thought that would be the best pathway for our young players to go to college in the U.S. They have a college education and they have a chance to, to take a crack at playing on – as a pro golfer so before and, and trying to get it off the ground here here in Asia which has yeah then girls hopefully one day Twelve years ago, uh, Malaysian player Gavin Green uh, had uh, he had college in, in the U.S. and then came out and within two years, he won, uh, and then now he's playing on the European tour and on. Uh, that's kind of a role model that I see that now in the future we'll have you know you know, uh, 50 players or something, and it's for them to become uh, number one in the world. So, you know, I think we, we, we could possibly see from a player coming out, uh, out of Bangladesh. You know, they can start playing since they're 12 years old, build their game up and have a, have a college education and, and a possibly a successful career as a professional golfer. So that, so I, that was uh, my goal to start with. And, so, which year you did you establish yeah. that? Uh, we started two years ago, and and you know we're still finding our ground to make uh, a lot more tournaments happen. So I'm creating more of a tour than tournaments, and you know there's a lot of junior golf going around in Asia. Every every yeah. uh, golf every association year. and golf federations in in Asia have their own junior program, and what we want to do is to basically you know um, just move side by side. I think we're not here to develop uh, uh, the start of junior tour. We're just uh, the junior golf. I think the golf association are doing a, a great job at doing that. So what we're trying to do is to to uh, complement it 
by structuring a more of an elite tour that the players can that are wanting to go to college in the U.S. can can play through and 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 see how they can develop their games. And just just last week, I just read on the PGA Tour website that the the U.S. the PGA Tour is also endorsing uh, the junior golf rankings. They have made a PGA Tour golf ranking, which the top 15, top 25 player from that university ranking will be able to get into their secondary call, tour called the Corn Ferry Tour and their other international what I, uh, tours. So that is the ferry, uh, Corn Ferry. Corn Ferry is now named, uh, earlier it was known, a sponsor was web.com, that tour, secondary tour of PGA. Yeah, yeah, it's known now, yes, it's now known as the Corn Ferry Tour. So I think right. uh, what the PGA Tour has done to structure the development of players is, is probably the, the best thing that's ever happened. It, yeah. it would be something that I, I would like to, to do in, in Asia too. So that's why I'm, I'm doing this junior golf tour. And, you know, now the university players, the top five players will get into the corn Ferry tournaments and, and, and top 15 or top 20. Sorry, at times your voice is distorted. Can you hear me, sir? Maybe your, your, your sound. Uh, yeah, I can, I can hear you. I can hear you. Very well, yeah. Okay, sir. Sir, as I understood, my audience has understood some comments are coming. Uh, you said before two to three years, you formed a junior Asian tour. The objective is to find out the potential player to help them develop and send them to college education, uh, college league in a US at NCC Division One or two. Uh, that is the best platform for developing a junior golfer, amateur golfer, and turn as pro. Am I correct, sir? Yeah, so so basically, the Asia has official ranking points from the and Junior Golf Association. So, so basically, you know, the players earn their in getting on, on the time of, of, of the U.S. and then recruited trips uh, to to play college golf. So I think you know that that that's. That would be one of the best pathways. And now with the PGA Tour having a university rankings and, and allowing the college players to play on some corn ferry tournaments and into their international tour tours in Canada, South America, and China, I think I think that's the best way that a young player can can right. can really see. So if how many he, players? Uh, how many players that you can send to U.S. college golf from your top? Top? How many top players? From Asia? Well, our top five players will get the exemption okay. rankings to to play on on the main AJGA tour. But but any player that gets ranking points are eligible to play the the junior tours in the U.S. in in, in the summertime, and they can okay. accumulate then, more points. AJGA. Uh, I, I points. got it. AJGA American Junior Golf Association tour ranking point they will get if they play and become top five in your tour. Sorry, am I correct, sir? If they get top five in our tour, they get into a lot of the bigger tournaments on the AJGA. But any player that gets some points are allowed to play in, in the U.S. on the AJGA. So, so you know, it's mostly but, it's a sir, it's a but, merit. Uh, sorry, sorry, sir. But that uh, playing in AGTA, I mean Asian Junior Golf Association tours, that does not uh, necessarily mean that he'll be able to join in some college to uh, pursue his career or study. Well, they have to get recruited by the coaches and into the colleges first to get to be on the team to play Division One or Division Two, you know, Division Three college golf. But it's uh, what we create is a uh, is an opportunity for them to, to, to let recruited. the coaches know. Yeah, yeah. you are creating no a platform yeah. so that coaches coaches of America can know identify the potential. Like uh, yeah. here, I can I can exa cite example of my. Yeah, own son, sir. Sorry to bring a point of personal point. My son, his name is Afnan. He has been okay. picked up by U.S. College, uh, Alabama State University coach in China. While he was playing, he became champion under 16 in Faldo series. So oh, from yeah, there, he was, yeah, he was picked from there. So similarly, yeah. you're also something like uh, Faldo yeah. uh, series. Uh, Faldo, uh, sir, Nick Faldo. He's also yeah, his yeah, famous so developing. Yeah, so we're uh, he, here to complement he, it. So for yeah, us, yeah, it is just uh, we're not trying to stop. We're just like, complimenting so you can get through into U.S. And moreover, you have also got a or, or both. And, you know, yeah, if the player is doing on both tours, he might 
get into some bigger colleges in, in, in the in the U.S. So you know, it's just yeah, yeah. it's just a matter of giving the opportunity to the player. But in the end, it's up to the player to really prove himself. Uh, but so you have some advantage than that of others. What I saw, there are a lot of another, other junior tour, but they don't have association with American Junior Association uh, tours. So it yes, is advantage not. for your tour. Is if somebody plays some junior plays in your tour, if he can do good, he can play some big tournament in America, and thereby other coaches of America can see his game and be attracted. That's the additional point other junior tours in Asia don't have. Yeah, it's a, yeah, that's I understood. I mean, well, I think, I think we're just we're just doing it to complement the other junior tournaments and other junior tours. You know, if a junior can play everything, he's got the best chance to get into a really good college, and that's all we want to we want to create that opportunity and pathway. So you know, a lot of the tournaments and <clears throat> junior tournaments in Asia are, are are getting the players into the you know the World Junior Championships in California and and the Optimus tours in Florida. So I, I think it's fantastic. You know, when I was young, when I was a junior growing up in Asia, I had no opportunity. Like, you know, I played my Sir, again, uh, your boys are distorted, uh, sir. Sir, uh, so so yes. so far I understood. Yeah, I, during your time, these scopes were not there. After this, we understood. Sir, another query, uh, if you can hear me, that is, uh, what's about this? Your uh, you have left Asian tour from executive chairman uh, in two thousand. When did you leave the Asian tour? Uh, I I stopped in two thousand seventeen. Yes, and I just wanted to. But I, I'm still on the board of the Asian tour, you know, uh, and, and, you know, I just wanted to pursue other interests. You know, I'm getting into golf course design. I'm trying to do a golf course in Myanmar. I did one in Vietnam and all that. So just, I always had, and, you know, it's, and it's, it's, you know, I mean, the, it's, but it, it's always good. I mean, even if I don't, if I'm not officially designing anything, I'm always doing it. On my spare time, so oh, yeah, so that's, that's great. Sir. That's yeah, I know you. You're also busy with the uh, course design. Yes, sir, I know it. Yeah, you have been doing some some course design already in uh, some country of Asia and also USA, sir. One additional point. Uh, what's about? I think you are the one of the founder of Asian Tour, as you are expert, uh, found expert to form a uh, player tour like that, private player tour. So that is. It is always based on the. Uh, is it based? Like our tour in Bangladesh, we have a BPGA. We are basically based yeah. on players, players uh, contribution and then sponsors money to run a tournament. So I think other than these two, you don't have any other earning from anywhere. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. So, so basically, this moment, you know. It's... Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. No, so, you know, I've had a. Uh... A really fantastic uh, time with golf. You know, it was something I played since I was uh, eight years old, and you know, I think now it's it's something that I just want to give back to golf because uh, it's been very good to me. So, you know, it's, it's so, right so now I see point, much you pleasure to see junior golfers excel well in becoming world champions. Definitely, sir. So, uh, my last question would be on this, sir. Junior to in Bangladesh professionals or junior golfer as you know from distance i know uh, before that can i know sir how many courses are there in myanmar and in singapore golf courses sir? well in myanmar uh, we actually have you know golf's been quite popular not as many people would know of it but you know uh, since since the old uh, british days we had courses that are over 100 years old and right now there's about about 70 80 golf courses in, in myanmar right now and yeah I've been involved with with one and a couple more. I'm, I'm looking into it, and you know, I'm even trying to help, uh, you know, renovate and redesign some some of the courses because they were old courses back, you know, 40, 50, 100 years ago. So, so that's 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 quite interesting to me, and it's fun. And you know, I mean, Singapore is an established uh, country city with with over like uh, two dozen golf courses, and you know, right now, even during this. Uh, 
the COVID-19, you know, we see the golf course is reopening and it's, it's, it's packed. And I think, you know, it's, it's about something that, that like uh, young players should see into that. Like, like, especially in this age right now, I think, I think golf is a, a, a non-contact sport good for it's good social distancing. And I think it's something that, you know, young, young people should, should try, try, try to play it. And then it's, so it's been good. We, we see a big popularity here in Singapore where you, you need a two, three weeks to book a tea time. But that means, you know, it's the popularity of the sport. And I think, and I think it's a, it's a healthy sport. Yeah. I, I know young people don't have the patience cause it's very time consuming, but, but I think right now it's probably one of the better sports to, to be involved in and to be competitive in. So, so, so I understand. So, from your uh, words, that uh, course number of courses, golf courses in Singapore is uh, two dozen. You said, but Thailand and Malaysia just—I uh, mean—you can reach there very easily. They have more than three hundred courses. Am I correct, sir? Oh yeah, Th Thailand's probably one of the top places, one of the best places almost in the world to to play golf. They have over three hundred golf courses. Facilities are all good and. Really, backing from from sponsors, the public. I think you know they they really boost up Thai golf, both both in men's and and women's. So you know it's Sorry. something that other countries in Asia should try to copy. Right, sir. Right, that's why I brought that point. So a lot of comments still I cannot read all, but I I, I want to at least name some few. The first comment came for you, sir. It was Mr. Zia. I don't know where he's from. Uh, maybe Zia. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, he is expressing his best wishes for you and me. And a lot of Mr. Sagma, Sanjay Marak, Rifatul Islam, Rifatul Choudhury, Rafael Choudhury, Mr. S uh, Santo Islam, Mr. Jagamandu Roy, Mr. Sakib Hassan Hussein. Mr. Niaz Bhuya, Mr. Saki Hussain again. So a lot of audience are there. So one point, how, how much it cost in Singapore playing around? Uh, I mean, the green fee, sir. Well, Singapore is fairly expensive uh, to play uh, of all the other countries in Southeast Asia. I think uh, it costs between about 100 to three, four hundred dollars or Singapore dollars around to play. And, you know, um, but still the courses are packed so the, the that shows a lot of interest in 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 the sport i think okay, so you know thailand thailand would be good value malaysia is good value you know yeah yeah they're less they're they're very less yes i know sir here one point if someone is interested to bring your junior tour to be enlisted uh, in your junior tour as i understand it's a private tour and had by you and uh, many other maybe two and uh, adnan and all so uh, what all we should do from Bangladesh? We should arrange a sponsor number one, and invite your players to Bangladesh to play a tournament, and then you uh, give a ranking to our junior players. Is it correct, sir? Or what should be the procedure? Yeah, pre pretty well. Pretty much that's all. As the main thing is for a host host golf club, and you know a little bit of sponsorship. And when we come in and and endorse and sanction the event, it, it automatically becomes a an AJGA ranked event. So, and, and the players, uh, it, I've kind of structured it just like how I structure the professional tour. So we have members and all the members are all eligible to play it. We, what we do is we have, we help the local organization. Like in Bangladesh, we would give 10, 20 uh, yeah. spots to local, local players that are chosen by, by, by yourselves, by your golf federation yeah. and, and all that. And, you know, they're, they're, they're free to play. And, and then, they, they have the opportunity to come out and play the other JGT events uh, held, held overseas. And they, so, uh, so they rank, rake up uh, the AJGA points. And then, then after that, you know, they can play in the U S in, in the, in the summertime in the official AJGA events. And, you know, what we've done is just to create a pathway for them to give them that opportunity. And after that, they get recruited by, by the colleges uh, in, in the U.S. and you know, after, and it's up to them to for a successful pro career. So we allow both boys and girls, 12 to 18. So like other international tournament, amateur tournament and professional tournament, as we do, not like professional tournament, but like amateur tournaments, uh, we sponsor a tournament. Uh, we 
apply for that they went we want to uh, organize a tournament of you and then uh, maybe you give us 20 vacancy for local amateur sure. junior amateur we're and happy to do that how many how many, how many is the juniors from your tour will uh, participate i mean international juniors um, well, as many as uh, the golf club can can accommodate it. So, you know, we're both boys and girls, 12 to 18. And, um, you know, uh, we, we can take up to 100, 120 players, I guess. That's, uh, up to, that, that, that's, the that's main thing is we, we have structured uh, according to the AJGA regulations, which the juniors have to caddy themselves and all that. You know, so, so it's one thing that I found a little <laughs> difficulty in Asia, like, the yeah. juniors weren't used to caddying themselves, but that's how it is in America, and and right. they they better toughen up. <laughs> you know, right. so if they want to play college golf, they better learn to get yeah. stronger and fitter. <laughs> there's, no, there's no other shortcut. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, so, right, you, 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 you right. understand it, right? You have a son playing yeah, in the U.S. Yeah. So, yeah, and yeah. we have a resistance first in some other countries saying, oh, we can't let the juniors won't do it. But I said, well, you have to do it. And now they've endorsed it and the juniors are doing it and they don't seem to have a problem. We just got them to caddy themselves. And, you know, um, you know, and the course. And, you know that's the only way to prepare our juniors to play in the U.S. You you know you they just have to toughen up, and the best are gonna gonna be come come out of there. And I'm sure they'll be successful. You know we've seen a few Asian players without the AJGA that become successful. So I just see there'll be more numbers. Uh, you know a lot of young players from China really serious. I'll come back uh, to your JJ point again. If you can hear me, at times you are distorted. Maybe your audio getting... No, I can hear you very well, yeah. Sir, sir uh, I'll come back to JJ again. A lot of comments again from Myanmar is Mr. Sam Sokias is welcome. I mean, expressing his best wishes. Mr. Sam uh, expressed best wishes and others. I, uh, I, a lot of names are there, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, sir, okay. about GTA, I'll come back. But then uh, tell me something about your playing as a professional. Some question was there, how many times you played with Tiger Woods and where that was? Oh, I only played once. I mean, I finished number one in Asia in 1999. And yeah. Tiger came to play the Johnny Walker Classic in those days, which was the biggest tournament in Asia in 2000 in, at Alpine Country Club in Bangkok, Thailand. And... And yeah, they paired me together um, since he was number one in the world. But you know, for me, yeah. it was no match. And he he had just won four majors, and you were the number know, one of Asia, so it matched. <laughs> and also, you won Volvo Open. Like, still now, China Volvo Open Asian Tour is one of the flagship tournament of Asia. So am I correct? Sir? Oh yes, days, I mean I was very fortunate that for that. That made you, you I know, am sure, within a hundred of uh, world ranking. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, that's why, like, uh, you know, in those days, uh, we didn't even get a world ranking yet. So I I was fighting for that, and we got it uh, in, in the next year, the year after that. So, you know, um, for me right now, it's it's just to help the younger players and all that. Uh, you know, I, I, I've had a very good career. I, I think, you know, I've been very successful and happy. Why I'm making this here to our juniors or audience who are listening, they're golf lovers, they're uh, watching us. So why I'm here hearing your experience so that they understand that you are the exact, I mean, uh, true professional, correct person behind the development of golf in Asia. So you had been also the ex-chairman, uh, executive chairman of Asian Tour, who formed by his own hand. I know, I saw it, I did see it myself that you formed Asian tour by your own hand. So, sir, uh, now, now let me tell about the JGTA that you formed again, Junior Golf Asian Tour. Nobody thought of it. It's an excellent platform, what I understand. Junior Golf Asian Tour only before three years or two years. That is also your brainchild, what I understand. Your brainchild. First of all, I might, must congratulate you there for that. No, thank for you. This. Sir, sir, now, uh, if, uh, as you said, if we want to become a part of that Junior Tour, we have to arrange some sponsor and invite you people and we have to host at least this 
with the players of international players uh, with accommodation and all here may not be oh, travel cost. We'll, we'll be very thankful for you to to host one of the events. Yeah, I mean, for us, it's just to go to every country and try to you know give opportunity to junior players. And you know, for me, it's not to conflict the what the golf does. It's to complement them. So I want to make sure that when I come come into the countries, I'm I'm complimenting junior golf and not yeah, of course, trying of course. to to, to, that has to, to be take a over. Yeah, complimenting yeah, clubs so, and confederation so that uh, yeah, so I, I would rather yeah, I would rather leave the junior golf developments to the golf associations to develop junior golf, and ours is just giving the opportunity for the elite players to try to further their golf career and and their college career. You know, I think I, I think what the U.S. colleges have done is is, is a is, is so what is there's a handicap limit a junior can participate that age you say up to 18 years of age but what is the handicap it, someone, someone wants to know mr sakib uh, what is the handicap limit for juniors to pass, participate your junior golf asian tour or what is well, called we don't, have, we don't have a we don't have a handicap limit it's up to each player to play but you know i i think uh, the competition is going to be quite good so they should be able to play you know, they, uh, they should be able said, to play I understand, 80, I understand let's say. host country gets a spot of 20, so they select their top 20 or whatever they did. That is, handicap depends on them. I understand now. You you left it to the host. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, it's still where just like the just like the Asian tour. So right now, yeah. what we're trying to do is create opportunities. So let's say. We 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 will have you know twenty of your local Bangladeshi players play. It's up to your golf associations to choose the players. We don't we don't really want to put any uh, limitations on the players. Let them see if they're interested. You know, a twelve year old can can really develop his game in one or two years. So you know, even if he's shooting a hundred now, in two years' time, he'll be he'll be breaking par, or you know, at least yeah. break. Yeah, yeah. It is. 80, 75. So, I mean, we're we're in the starting frame now, and it's just to just to see which players have the interest of pursuing that career. Sir, sir, for the as our time is coming close uh, for the show, uh, we are at the end of the show, sir. If I can ask yeah. you for the last time, sir, uh, what is the advice of you? You are so vast experienced a organizer a, yourself as a leading professional of Asia. You have made one of the best of all time Asian Tour professional players. I understand, okay. as I understand. So, your advice for the Bangladeshi professionals, junior golfers all around the world, all around the Asia? Well, the most advice is to just, it's, uh, you know, for the country or every golf organization to give the opportunities for the juniors, opportunities to play golf. You know, I think the golf courses should help promote junior players to play golf. You know, I think you, you see a lot of the countries in the West, in the U.S., England, Australia, that, that's what they do. They have good junior programs. It's first to develop a good junior program and then and then give them the opportunities, which means tournaments. You know, if you look at Thailand, they're so successful because there's like 50, 100 tournaments a year and their their players are playing every week. So, you know, as as, as the years go, they just, they, they just develop their golf. And, and you know, and the and, and the main thing is uh, to for juniors to develop an interest in just playing it as a sport. Because even if they don't make it as a pro or all that, I think golf still is. When you get older and you're working and all that, you know, it's it's a good sport. And you know, I mean, for me, I've been very fortunate to have my career over this. And you know, there's there's a golf industry that's very uh, uh, you know successful in, in the world there's the golf courses golf maintenance golf business you know it's a it's a big industry and so you know just it's not only about playing professional golf there's lots of other things you can do with golf and so I think it's good for countries to give the opportunity to juniors to, to play golf and 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 have the have the interest of golf uh, grow and I think you know, especially now at this day and age, I, I think it's a great sport to be involved in. So, sir, thank you very much for your wonderful, wonderful words and advice for us. You spoke everything in depth, in details. Yeah, <laughs> a nation like Bangladesh and uh, all Asian countries really need 
a perfect and uh, timely junior tours, junior development program to put the players into the professional ranks. Before they put a player to professional rank, they must develop the junior programs, as you said correctly, sir. Thank you very much. I am obliged to have no, you in you. my show. Looking for our support. Yeah, we, 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 uh, we'd like to thank yeah Golf Bangladesh for the interests of you know having with Asian tour with, with the junior tours and you know you know we we we're very confident. I'm sure that Bangladesh will have another champion like like Siddiqui. You know, I'm I'm really proud of him. You know, it was good to see him loom during my thank time. You. So. Yeah, yeah. So thank you. He was just happy for study with me, and he told uh, offline about you. He knows you. Uh, yeah. he, once I told that Mr. Chila Hani is coming, and because Salim Akhtar knows you by name. I mean, by not yeah. only name, by art, Mr. Salim Akhtar. Yeah, I think he can help. So yeah, we really appreciate your support. We support your yeah, efforts. Thank, thank you very much, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah.